गुड मॉर्निंग लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सी डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ व्हील वी हैव सी व्हाट इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द व्हील व्हाट आर द एसेंशियल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ व्हील्स आफ्टर दैट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ व्हील्स फ्रेस स्टील डिस्क व्हील देन द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग आफ्टर दैट वायर स्पोक व्हील्स their construction and working and after that cast light alloy wheel which is used in racing cars light alloys of aluminum and magnesium is used for manufacturing using casting operation these wheels are manufactured and also the various advantages of cast alloy wheel we have seen light in weight it improves the heavier section improves the stiffness and better stress distribution and the rims with larger area results in wider tires with less diameter and because of this the are used in racing cars it helps or lowers the center of gravity and wider tire results in better road grip particularly during cornering okay that's why this um, wheel is used in racing car and more important more heat is generated brakes are applied during this racing cars so that they required heat dissipation these light alloys are better conductors of heat and hence heat dissipation from tires and brakes are improved only the disadvantage is it is a chemically sensitive and corrosion is possible here electrolytic corrosion is also possible these things we already discussed during last lecture now we are going to see the introduction to tires in that i am going to cover what is the function of tire what are the requirements of good tires and how the construction of the tire is and what type of materials are used uh, while manufacturing these tires this automobile tire is important because the whole load is carried by this tire the tires are mounted on the wheels that wheels we have discussed just in our previous lectures just see first thing is it should carry the load of the vehicle second it should absorb the small road shocks or junks that should be absorbed by the tires and it should also absorb some how obrek vibrations to some extent and this tire should also help to transmit the power from which we receive from engine through gear box propeller shaft rear axle to the ground with which the vehicle moves it also absorbs the retarding force when a vehicle is brake and keeps on skidding an application of the brake till the vehicle comes to the stop it is a very important application just remember you are applying the brake and the vehicle is skidding okay and at that time the absorbance or retarding force is on tire okay and because of this the vehicle will stop okay and the next is the treads made on tires grip the road for better traction okay this is why different types of treads we will see in the construction of the tire what is treads okay treads uh, is the arrangement for that purpose there is more friction between the road and the tire 
okay these trades are recommended for different uh, surface conditions such as mud and snow trade and off the road trade just these are the different functions of the tire and what is the requirement of a good tire it must be a strong to carry the loads and resist damage it must be flexible to cushion all shocks and impacts at least partly it must respond accurately to steering without deflection by the ridges on the road it must provide good road grip for traction for cornering for accelerating and braking all these four things are important in uh, while driving the automobile and at that time there must be a grip between the road and that is achieved only with the help of this tire and it must requirement to work in all weathers okay and all surfaces without overheating it must provide comfortable ride to the motorist or to the driver it must run quietly it should be noise free there should not be more noise from the tires it should have long life means every time you have to repair or it is damaged or it requires frequent maintenance then um, it should not happen for that purpose it should be designed that it should stay for a longer life and it must be economical okay all these are the requirements of a good tire okay and also bus every thing or every conditions is not possible as a good tire is a best compromise of some of the characteristics for example if you take a tire suitable for high speeds may not be uh, is unsuitable for low speed a tire suitable for snow or wet conditions is unsuitable for dry conditions and high speed driving okay you have to consider the road conditions the particular weather conditions and all these things are considered while designing a considering a good tire okay just see this is the tire construction basically uh, this is the cut section this is the rim on which this tire is mounted a cross section is taken a tire is made up of rubberized fabric piles over a rubber liner just see what we have said tread this tread is there some depth is there so that there is friction this type of surfaces surfaces is um, create a traction or friction force between a vehicle road and vehicle okay the edges of the piles are wrapped around a wire bead and holds a tire wheel on the rim the fabric piles are covered these are the covered fabric piles and these are covered with a rubber compound tread and different rubber compound for the side walls these are the side walls and the tire is curved in a mold to vulcanize the parts into a single unit and form a tread design it should be act as a single design okay and the cross section is shown here in this figure this is the 3d drawing and this is the 2d drawing okay this is the rim on which uh, the wheel is mounted okay just see what are the different tire materials we are using a tire is in flatable rubber tube fitted around the frame of a road wheel okay apart from the wire rope used for bead material 
and tire uses an elastomer or fabric cord for the body and piles respectively okay this tire material include three things wire ropes used for a reed material elastomer fabric cord and piles respectively okay over the century the technology has developed and we are get a better knowledge and for that purpose the scientists are always working for better research on the better materials so that we can easily dispose or in eco friendly environments we are expecting in tire materials just see uh, for many years natural rubber was used as a tire material but over the time uh, synthetic rubber material replaced the natural rubber as the elastomer nowadays rubber is used in tires as an elastomers and blends natural and synthetic rubbers with addition of chemicals and filler compounds to produce the desired result characteristics means uh, we are using natural rubber synthetic rubber and as well as chemical and filler compounds to produce the desired or expected characteristics in tire materials tire trade materials there are different compound materials is used for example hard compounds uh, provides good wear or poor traction soft compounds provide good traction and poor wear and for that purpose you should able to choose a proper compounds okay there is a synthetic material like this sbr stibrin butadiene rubber this sbr rubber is a, a less bouncer than natural rubber and which maintains close contact with road providing a good grip especially in wet weathers and it is having excellent resistance to absorption and poly butadiene pb in short it is called as pb which is hard wearing and less sensitive to temperature than other synthetic and um, this usually pb mix with small quantities of sbr with natural rubbers or both okay the elastor mix with carbon black carbon black improves the wear and abrasion resistance the if we add a sulfur it acts as a vulcanizing agent if we add a oil it acts as a road road holding means the grip is more at the expense of tire wear okay all these things you remember and this is a tire trade materials once again hard compound low compound sbr pb this sbr pbr synthetic compounds and all these carbon black oil and sulfur which is having particular reasons and after that ply materials ply materials has evolved over the time first previously a cotton material is used after that rayon is used before first uh, world war then uh, nylon is used in second world war they are having good strain just is 64000 kg per cm tensile strain this nylon is having superior tensile strain 83000 kg per cm square higher than rayons and after that polyester tensile strain 7000 kg per cm square and fiber glass which is more stronger 27000 kg per cm square and materials are evolved they are having some advantages disadvantages and accordingly a automobile engineer has to choose the proper material in between 1960 to this owens and corning develop a technique they are using plastic for which prevents chap pin improved its use in ply materials okay and all this research is going on to improve the materials the breaker cord materials these are nylon fiberglass and steel cords okay different materials we are using 
uh, and apart from that different types of tires are there cross flight tire 